So, hello everybody. Um, since the last time I've spoken about the insurance, I have contacted a couple of insurance companies for quotations on the catamaran. Um, and I've received three quotes this far. So what I've done is I've drawn up a spreadsheet so that you can just have an indication of what we're looking at and what more or less the, the differences are. There's not a huge amount of difference. There's quite a bit of difference in premium. But as far as cover is concerned, I've been, I was very specific with what I asked them to put on so that we can compare apples with apples. But first tell me, what do you think of our theme song? Don't you think it's pretty amazing? <laughs> As mentioned, um, I've approached a couple of companies to draw us up a insurance quote and I've put the same criteria over to all of them so that we can absolutely compare apples with apples. Okay, obviously the first one that um, I put down is, it's a brand new 2018 Leopard 45 Catamaran. The second is the sum insured of 590,000 US dollars. Um, that would include the hull, the motors, fixtures and fitting, any navigational equipment, everything that's actually fixed to the hull or to the actual boat. So it's it's not standing loose or anything, it's fitted into the hull. Then also mentioned that the boat is registered in the USA. That is was also important. And um, then another question I put forward as well, must we specify clothing and personal effects? Electronics that does not form part of the fixtures and fittings, for example, you know, like your cell phones, tablets, anything that's lying around loose, do we need to specify that? And what about diving gear, do we have to specify that as well? So then they need to look at that when they're quoting. And then what if any navigation limits there are on the quotation? And I also wanted the, the next items to be included, and that would be liability, um, your negligence, as I mentioned in the previous episode, terrorism, medical expenses, and um, personal accident. Then the f they all require a flight plan for at least, the f well, for the first 12 months in any way. So I've just um, drawn up a basic flight plan as so far what our arrangements are. We will be leaving Cape Town, going towards all the way up the eastern coast of South Africa towards Mozambique and back. And then if we haven't had accumulated enough miles at that stage um, for the ocean master, Ocean Yacht Master and the Day Skipper will be, will be going from Cape Town up to Namibia as well. And that should be roughly mid-December that we will be doing that. Then we'll go straight west to St. Helena Island. There we'll probably spend at least two weeks, I don't know, two to three weeks. Then up north to Sierra Leone. Frick did contract work for the United Nations there as well and there's a couple of pretty sweet places there that you can anchor. It's beautiful diving area that as well. And then down south again to Ascension Islands. Um, I believe Delos had an absolute ball there, so I'm sure we're going to look at at least two weeks there. And then we're going to go further down towards Brazil, and then hopefully hit Brazil, probably Vila Vela, somewhere around there, um, around April because we have to fly back into South Africa um, as both our daughters are getting married. So we're going to have we're gonna have to hit Brazil by that time. Yeah, so that's the criteria that we are looking at, um, that they must base their quotes on. Okay, let's get down to the nitty gritty. What is this going to cost us? As I said, I stated in a figure of $590,000. Um, as you can see there, for the whole motor trailer fixtures and fittings and navigational equipment fitted to the boat. 
Deductibles, company A and B has a percentage of sum insured, which would be the $590,000. Company C has a fixed amount. The minute you hit international waters, company A and B double up their deductible, and so does company C as well, but also, again, a fixed amount. Electronics not fitted must always be specified. They get rated at the same rate as the whole, but it must physically be specified item by item on the policy. Again, deductibles, we've got percentages with minimums. Company C has a set amount, which doubles up again international waters. Clothing and personal effects, I've put company A and B a figure of $3,200 because company C automatically includes $3,400. So as I said, just to keep the quote fair, I sort of stuck to the same figures. And again, double up the, the deductibles, international waters. Cell phones, never, ever, ever covered, even if you specify them. It's such a high risk item, so nobody even looks at that anymore. Diving gear, I've let them all quote on $10,000. Liability, the first two companies, 1.6, and company C automatically includes a million. A and B, we're going to have to pay extra premium on that, but that is included in the bottom total um, premium at the end of the line. Okay, then we're going to get to a um, navigational limits. They all require a qualified skipper on board. Um, so that's pretty much the all above board. Everybody exclude hurricane season or hurricane areas in hurricane time. But Company C also excludes Sierra Leone. They reckon it's big pirate area there. Terrorism, again, South Africa, Company A, only SA and Namibia. Company B can arrange for international cover as well. And C automatically includes Medical costs, straightforward. Um, I just want to mention here, if there is no deductible in the column, um, for instance, company C, it doesn't mean that they don't have one. It's just they don't state it in their quotes. Personal accident, also straightforward. And ta-da, the bottom line. Look at those fees. I mean, it's from horrific to zero. Um, $500 monthly fees and then zero and then 35. But look at that difference, eh? From 5.5 five to 7.6 to 8.9. As I said, you know, that you need to shop around and that is where the broker comes in to get you the best deal at the best price. Okay, now you've got a basic idea of what we're going to be looking at for insurance. We're still going to be fine-tuning. As Frick said, towards the end of the programs or later programs, we're going to tell you exactly what we paid for what, and then obviously we'll adjust the insurance quote accordingly. And then I'll just give you a brief update then as to what, but now you can see more or less what the differences are. So irrespective if we're up or if we're down anything, the differences are going to be there. But I will let you know who I'm going to be running with. Um, there's two companies that I'm favoring at this stage, based obviously on premium, but a lot on service as well. That is ultimately what we need. Claim time. That's when we need them. Ciao for now. Feel the spray of the waves on my face. Atlantic Indian Ocean Blue Whoa, land in sight to starboard Got me home from where